I'm Laura Beth Bird, uh, and I am the founder and producer of Grey Rabbit Theatre Co., uh, which started here in Fredericton this fall. Um, so as many of you who know me in the room, uh, this time last year I was a waitress, and I walked out of my job in a not so pleasant way uh, because I had reached a point where I was putting my artistic practice before my uh, employment. Which, as many of you know, it's really, really hard to step away from your artistic practice to go and do something that you don't really enjoy just to pay the bills. So I reached a point where um, I, just, I just needed to change. And I knew that I needed to learn how to be a full-time artist and, and figure it out. Um, so in 2017, I graduated from St. Thomas University's Drama Concentration Program. Uh, and at that point, uh, I had been brought back as an alumni to work on the What's Next Theatre Festival, uh, which produced uh, St. Thomas uh, student and alumni works for the first time ever. And they let me direct. <laughs> they gave me the keys to the castle, full production group. And after that, I knew that was what I wanted to do. So I sat in the James Joyce pub next door with Rodrigo, who's in the audience, and Dr. Robin Whitaker, and told them my plan. Uh, and then they proceeded to ask me why on earth I would ever want to do this. This seemed like a lot of work. And I said it was because I wanted to produce my own art. It, it kind of. <laughs> At that point, I didn't really have an answer. So for the last little while, I have been working with uh, Notable Acts Theatre Festival and Bard in the Barracks here in Fredericton. Uh, I was very lucky to get a grant for six months to learn how to uh, build my own sets and uh, stage manage, produce work, and do everything that I hadn't done at St. Thomas University. So at St. Thomas, I had done a lot of the academic practice, but not so much as of the physical practice. And then at uh, Notable, I learned the other side and realized that I knew how to mesh the two together. And what was missing was learning the business side of it. So I knew what I was making. I knew what, how, how to do it all. Um, but I didn't know how to sell it. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I would like to make money doing this, <laughs> as we all probably would. Um, so this is one of the most recent ones. Uh, this is actually Dr. Robin Whitaker. Um, and I got to create a miniature version of Santiago El Grande. We did it in about six hours um, for a play written by Gordon Meehan that happened upstairs here. It was uh, a great little farce about uh, s someone stealing all the paintings, like little, little robbers. <laughs> so I created a mini dally. It was pretty cute. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's what I ended up doing. And then, thankfully, the next step happened, and uh, I was accepted into the Catapult program. I applied thinking that nobody was going to take me very seriously because I had just started. Um, it's brand, brand new. And they graciously <laughs> let me come and ask all the questions about the things I didn't really know. Um, I had spent some time at Planet Hatch um, with another entrepreneurial residency, thinking that this will be, help me fill in the, in the gaps of my knowledge. But there was just some steps missing. Um, a lot of it was geared towards uh, manufacturing and larger scale industries um, and not towards arts. So I found myself Googling a lot of the terms that they were using <laughs> and uh, trying to keep up with what they were talking about. And it was, there was something missing. So uh, during this eight week program, we tailored it towards artists, which is absolutely fabulous. And we got to talk about branding and marketing and different strategies and networking in our community and doing bookkeeping. I've <laughs> never thought I'd have to do math again. <laughs> we do a lot of math. Um, and from there, realizing that I needed to create uh, a year long plan uh, for, for my own work. So I've broken everything down into quarters. Uh, um, to figure out year by year, to figure out what will happen in five years and what will happen in 10 years. Uh, so very recently, we've taken on uh, Thomas McDougall's call number three to go through um, fringe festivals and theater festivals for next fall. We're starting uh, a children's puppet theater that will open up for next summer, which is funded through Arts NB. Um, which is fabulous. <laughs> so basically downtown, it'll be a, a great big puppet theater that will look like a gypsy caravan, uh, operated by two students, uh, student artists, theater artists, uh, and we'll tour it around Atlantic Canada. So it'll be a great way to get some more Atlantic Canadian artists on the stage, getting New Brunswick out there, and creating what will be a year-after-year -year platform for myself and uh, artists in the region. 
aside from this, now uh, that the slides are <laughs> lining up, um, I've also spent the last year with the New Brunswick film community. Um, so this is something I didn't really expect to happen out of my theater degree. <laughs> I ended up working a lot with the NB Film Co-op. Um, so far, I've done uh, nine movies. Uh, I got to work on The Amazing Race when it came through town, uh, Popsy, which came through from Nova Scotia, and various other companies in the region, um, figuring out how theater relates to film and how I can breed the two together to do both practices, which is something I've, I've kind of fallen in love with and then exploring a little bit more, um, just because the film and the theater community seem a little separate right now, and I'm going to try and bring them together. So with that, um, for my set building, this is actually some of it from uh, Alive with Galileo, which closed last week at St. Thomas University. I got to build a whole solar system up in the sky. Um, from that, I actually got a contract for next year to build a feature film set here in New Brunswick. Um, and I didn't realize that building sets was a marketable skill of mine until this program. <laughs> it was something I did for fun. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're looking at now. I'm, I'm, I really wish that I had a better way to put this forward, but um, the, the ArtsLink program has helped me discover what my skills were the things that I had already been doing, the things I had been working on in the last year, to put it together into a business so that I could continue to do an artistic practice for next year, for five years, for 10 years, and that I could help other New Brunswick artists like myself who didn't have any clue what to do after I left university, just knowing I wanted to make art and to make a living making art and help them do the same. So I'm very, very thankful to ArtsLink uh, and to the Catapult program for Sarah and all of her patience with all of our questions. <laughs> so many questions. And uh, walking us through how to make a living doing the things that we love. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I will say that the slides we, is on a different program because all the things, so all the timers messed up, but it's OK. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to sneak away now. <laughs>